Hello friends, this is Sai, Sai Fanindra from SQL School, assuring you complete practice oriented lectures on Azure Data Factory and Synapse or Synapse Analytics, assuring you 100% hands on on this awesome colorful component a part of Azure Data Engineering. Yes, the Azure Data Engineer deals with as a data engineer, we deal with ETL extraction, transformation, loading, data mashup, and warehousing activities, identifying and managing historical data. And this data factory, the Azure Data Factory and Synapse, is one of the most important and major part of a data engineer job life. Come on, let's understand what we learn in this course in short let's learn in short let's get some idea in short what we are going to learn in this lengthy course before that as a data engineer or as a data factory engineer adf and synapse of course we'll start from the scratch for that yes make sure you revise sql server transact sql 2019 or 2022 or 2017 any version is fine latest versions 2017 or 19 or 2022 sql server please revise before you step into this awesome component azure data factory and what we learn here yes we need to involve in a end-to-end -end implementation we need to involve in an end-to-end -end implementation in our Azure Data Factory, one of the major component of our data engineering course. We have total three parts of data engineering module or data engineering course. We have three modules, data factory synapse, first module, storage, second module, and Spark Databricks, third module, and end-to-end -end implementations. Let's learn more about this particular data factory synapse. No doubt, from start, from scratch, we'll understand what is ETL in Azure and how to perform ETL operations in Azure Cloud. From there, we slowly step into synapse or synapse architecture, synapse SQL pool creations. From there, we slowly step into big data loads. And the need, the necessity for data factory, advantages, limitations, and different real world use cases of data factory pertaining to something called polybase, partitioning, auto indexing, on premise data loads. And for every chapter, every example, you have detailed transcripts. We'll understand various types of incremental loads. We say upset activities in databases. We'll understand incremental loads, various types of data flows, transformations, and 14 different optimization techniques we learn in our classes. I repeat again, 14, one, four different types of optimizations. We'll understand about Various techniques pertaining to Spark pool, Spark SQL, something called dedicated SQL pool, serverless pool, and we'll understand something else called as pivot operations, monitoring, alerts, incremental loads in traditional approach, wherein we would be involved in writing some code. We have code less incremental, drag and drop, code based incremental, more flexible we do both flavors in our classes and we'll understand the adf migrations there is a specific tool called adf migration tool that we need to install in our computers in our local computer so lengthy curriculum for this data factory waiting for us Request you to make sure you revise SQL Server concepts carefully. Constraints, joins, please revise them to step into data factory. About 
three weeks course monday to friday three weeks have 15 around 15 classes for complete data engineering you need to invest another additional four weeks two weeks for storage module two more weeks for data bricks and spark cluster modules total seven weeks for three modules out of seven weeks first three weeks would be for the data factory in this particular program lab work yes we'll be guiding you to get your own free trial account and you would be using the azure free trial throughout the course for our practice either complete data engineer seven weeks or particular data factory and synapse analytic three weeks course for more details you may log on to sqlschool.com or you may contact us and we are always ready to guide you to help you and make you happy after the course yes we want your colleagues to come to us for their upskill activities that's our actual job role we'll make it just need your support on time practice throughout the course and moreover you have faqs every day for every chapter throughout the course you have faqs concept wise faqs throughout the course throughout for every concept we have faqs we request you we request you kind request on time practice so that we do on time submission of mock tests with this information we will stop now and we shall wait for your gracious presence in the introduction class you may log on to our website sqlschool.com and there you see register button to attend a free webinar free demo class to understand more about our courses and myself sai sai panindra i will be the caretaker i would be responsible i will be the only trainer for the azure courses at our school azure and power bi courses i will be the trainer thank you so much have a nice time thank you once again hope you to see you in our actual classes thank you so much once again